there was a member of the FBI that followed me around for about 10 years, up until the time Dr. King was assassinated. I, he didn't follow me every day, but he just you might show up at any other time, you know, or I would be in my living room, and uh, we, I would, my buddy and my, Jim Campbell and I were staying together, and we were up on the third floor, and you could look out the window, and there was a pay station down there. And you could look out the window at a certain time of evening, and then we'd see a, gra- a gray Volkswagen would come pull up and phone our knobs, and the phone's going to ring in a few minutes. And it was sure enough, it would. And that's the FBI checking and seeing if I'm home. I didn't answer the phone. But, you know, that kind of harassment is uh, one that does two things. You adjust to it because you know it's uh, part of the political reality. But also it gives you an assessment of what people can get away with in the United States, you know, in the name of being a democracy. Now, that's like I say before, that's an invasion of your rights. It's a, it's a lot of things. But you decide that, that you understand that and so you don't let it worry you.